Hello everyone, this video is going to be very straightforward. I will tell you how to start a business in the United States or maybe anywhere in the world. My name is Vanessa, I'm a certified business consultant, I'm working on my MBA and I'm a mother and a wife. I live in Texas, I'm originally from Brazil, I've been living here for 10 years. I really love Texas, so let's get started. First thing you want to have I think this is for anybody who wants to start a business is a great idea. So you want to sell a product that is high demand, that people want. So you have to see what is the need, what are people looking for. So it's very important that you do a market research. What are people looking for? Although maybe uh, what they're looking for, the top search on Google, is not something that you are interested about selling or that you're interested about uh, inventing or whatever uh, has in your heart, in your mind. But when we talk about having a successful business nowadays, uh, with the saturation of so many products that people are creating, a lot of products, and it's it's important that we be on top of the demand uh, of what are people looking for, that we be on top of that, of the needs of what people are looking for. What you can do though is uh, what it's you, what are you passionate about? So if it's something that it's not what people are looking for, you can be creative and, and make something that is within what people are looking for. Let's say that people are looking for wine right? So wine is a high demand product. People are looking for wine. They want to buy wine. You'll be like, oh, I don't want to sell wine. Okay. So maybe you, you're passionate about creating something. Maybe you can create something within the niche of uh, white wine. Uh, maybe something for the uh, for the audience that buy wine so once you have your business idea okay i want to start a business i want to sell this product or i want to offer this service you're gonna identify your target audience if you choose to offer or I mean, to sell a product so let's say you choose to sell uh jewelry so you're gonna target people that like to by truly and uh to do that we have social media that can that can get the data for you so we have that social media we have um google that can give us the uh, the information as well so what you want to do though is know your target audience and your unique selling point the usp what's important about your product why customers need to buy your product so you have to be uh very clear on that okay you want to know your target audience you want to know your unique selling point what why people are going to buy your product why they need your product know that next step this is very important i know it's very boring oh my gosh i have to do a business plan but this is very important if you want your business to be successful create a business plan i cannot stress enough how this is important and i have to tell you when i started my business i didn't have a business plan but a year later when i started my business degree my teacher asked us to do a business plan for like maybe she said there could be a company that doesn't exist we invented the company um so when she said that i was like you know i'm gonna do a business plan with my own business it's been a year that i have this business so let's do this let's see what this is all about and the best thing ever ever was doing my business business plan because on paper, I could see how I could grow my business, how I could improve it and, and know the data and know the, the analytics of like uh, I, have a, I have a swimwear brand. And so I could understand better the market. I could understand better what my, my audience wanted. So I could um, have a, a big, bigger picture 
of of my business looking at on paper so it was mind blowing i started to do strategy to boost myself after i did my business plan i couldn't understand what branding was how important it is for the for 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 a business to have a good branding um a, a strategy so that people would wouldn't buy your product for what uh for the price but for what it's worth it so the business plan was great for that. So that's why I always tell my clients, do you have a business plan? Have you ever done a business plan for your business? And it's very important so that you can see where your business can go. Because in a business plan, you're going to put a mission and a vision. A vision is going to tell you what your business is going to be in five years or in 10 years. So every business needs a, every business needs a mission and a vision. So if you want to be successful, you cannot just start a business because I want to make some extra money. It's just, it's just not going to last. You know what I mean? So you have to have a vision. What do you want to what your business? What do you want your business to be in five years, in 10 years? So you need to have a vision for your business. And you will know that when you do your business plan. Uh, I will give you a free business plan model. I'll leave the link below. And I have a book. I wrote a book. It's in Portuguese. In this book, I also gave my readers a free business book business plan model i am translating my book to english so i'll have it available on amazon as well right now i only have it in portuguese uh which i i talk about my entrepreneurial uh journey after you have your business plan you're gonna choose a business structure for your business i'm gonna tell you here in this video only one business structure structure that i recommend to small business owners to get is the llc C, LLC, Limited Liability Company. This business structure for your business is the perfect one to start with because it will protect you um, from uh, from being sued if it ever happened. You're gonna be protected. Your assets will gonna be will be protected through the LLC. So your business is gonna be separated from your personal things. There are other business structures that you can choose for your business. There are companies that are agencies that will charge you a small fee to start it for you. Um, though here in Texas, the fee is $300. Some states is zero. Most states are maybe 150, uh, something like that. Here in Texas, is $300 to start an LLC but it's worth it. You're protecting your business. There are a lot of benefits of having a LLC as a business structure for your business. Now, if you're starting, okay, I'm starting. I don't want to register my business with the state yet. I just want to try out. You can do that. Uh, but um, you have to, to understand that if you're selling something, you have to charge tax. So uh, you don't want a problem with the IRS. You don't want a problem with the government. So if you're starting a business, register it with the state, okay? Uh, be clean, have everything right, do everything right. If you're selling a product, you need a sales permit to sell the product. So be on top of that. Don't ruin your business plan because you don't have a business structure for your business. It's very important that you have it set up for your business. When you uh, register your business with a state, there are a number that you have to have even if you even if you don't have or you don't plan to have employees uh it's only you you still need an ein number it's an employee employee identification number so you need to have that number to um some places where you're going to buy in bulk, you're going to buy a wholesale uh, from wholesale companies, they will require your EIN number. Also, if you plan to sell online, you won't be able to collect money unless you put all the information for your business, the business, ta the business tax number and the I the EIN number. I have had clients that wanted to start an online store, but she didn't have her business registered with the state of Texas. 
I told her, if you want to sell product, you can sell, but you won't be able to collect your money that you, from what you're selling if your business isn't registered because you have to put that information on the platform so that they can you uh, you can collect your money. These are the information that give I go more in depth when I'm talking with my clients about, but that's just so you know. Um, another thing is when you start selling, you're gonna see all that money coming in and be like, "Ooh, that's what I'm talking about." So now what? You need to have a financial plan for your business having a cash flow for your business and understanding it okay so i have i have to spend this amount of money and uh i am making less what i'm ex what i'm uh, spending i have to see what's going on here so that all you will see in your financial plan so have a financial plan for your business know uh if you are profiting like is this business you know, going to be successful because we all know if you are an, uh, if you are entrepreneur or if you want to be entrepreneur, it's important to know that you're not going to be profiting in the first or second year, maybe three years, you're going to be reinvesting in your company. So let's say that you started a business, you, 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 um, it's online, so you don't have a lot of operation operation cost for it. So you're gonna spend on web design, you're gonna spend on um, marketing and all that. So let's say ten thousand dollars to start up your business. People start with less than that. I started with less than that. But let's say ten thousand dollars starting your business. You're investing in your marketing. You're investing in, you know, um, the website and all that stuff. Um, and then the second year you're gonna make let's say twenty thousand. Uh, so that you you say okay, so I made I made ten ten thousand profit. So I'm gonna do this ten thousand profit. I'm gonna reinvest it. So I'm gonna buy more products. So I'm gonna invest more in marketing so I can bring more customers in. So when we're talking about, I like to talk about this. I like to. Like I, I like to just hit on this is about branding, okay? So it's not only about selling a product. If you sell your product, selling a product, selling a product, okay. So you're gonna one time you're just gonna shut off, like okay. So you have to position your brand. You have to position your product. So you have to have a very stable strategy to keep your to keep people coming for your product for what's for what's worth it, or you or for what is unique so your product is unique your brand has a message you're captivating all those people they're buying from you because they love your brand they're gonna come back they're gonna refer your your business so that's very important that you just not sell product but invest in branding invest in marketing so that you can sustain your business and be successful it's very important i could give come here and talk about branding i love this subject I love marketing, um, but this video, this video is very straightforward on how to start your business. I'll come back with more on branding, marketing strategies, and marketing uh, plans on how to scale your business. So for today, this is it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, comment down below. If you are an entrepreneur, if you have a business, I would love to see your business and learn more about your business. I'm going to leave my... Uh, uh, informations in the description box below and also the free business plan model is going to be in the link below so if you're interested in um, you can just take all this stuff out and it's plugging your business and the model and that you can see uh, your business on paper and see if you're gonna if it's gonna be successful in years ahead thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you on my next video